hello YouTube welcome back to my video in this video I am going to show you how you can convert a JSON response into an XML format okay so I'll be showing uh, with a simple Java program by passing a string JSON value and converting that into string XML and I'll show you a real-time example like we'll send and get request uh, to a server and we'll get a, a JSON response from the server and further we'll convert that JSON response into a, an XML format okay so here we go so uh, this is my Eclipse IDE uh, for Java developers if you don't have this Eclipse IDE please go to my videos I have another video uh, how to install uh, uh, download and install uh, Eclipse IDE for Java developers okay so I'll be demonstrating uh, my uh, and a uh, video on uh, based on this Eclipse IDE okay so I have just opened my Eclipse IDE now in the project explorer I'm going to create a new Java project okay so just select new and select project and we are going to create a new Java project so the project name I'm uh, just select the project from as Java project and select next and give any project name so I'm giving the project name as uh, uh, JSON to XML okay I'm giving it as JSON to XML rest everything I'm uh, putting at default and uh, just click next and uh, we'll add the libraries here so I'm not adding now I'll uh, add the libraries uh, after creating uh, the project so just click finish and uh, wait for your project to be uh, created yes uh, the Java project has been created I can see you can see here JSON to XML have just created as uh, simple as that and now for testing we need a as I told first I'll be creating a simple Java program so we'll uh, pass a string JSON uh, value into that uh, program and we'll convert into an XML format okay so yeah I'll go to uh, create a new uh, package so I'm giving it as uh, package name as com.chillyfax.com and inside this I'm going to create a new simple uh, class so I'm giving the class name as uh, uh, convert JSON to XML okay so I'm giving the class name as like this XML and just press enter and yes the class has been created and inside this class I'm going to create a uh, a method so it will return a uh, it will return a string value okay so it will return a string value and uh, the name of the method and uh, giving it as a same convert JSON and we are passing a string json value okay string json value i'm giving it a string json value okay and yes it should return something i'm giving uh, the return as a, a string xml so i'll return this xml value okay so once we pass uh, the json uh, value as uh, the object parameter i mean uh, the method parameter it will return the xml uh, value of that json okay now i'll create a main method here so from this main method i'm going to call uh, this uh, method string convert json okay so i'll make it static so i can uh, directly call without creating a uh, creating a object okay so string json and we'll pass uh, our uh, json value here okay so we'll set the json value here and we'll directly call this function so uh, convert yeah okay so directly call this function now what we'll do is uh, we'll pass I mean we'll set a JSON value here and we'll pa uh, call this method and uh, the this method will return the XML value of our JSON okay so now uh, we have not written any functionality in this method so we'll write that and before that we need a, a string JSON value for testing okay so to get there I'm directly going to my Chrome browser and I'm searching for sample json string okay sample json string okay so i'll get a sample json string i'll select a little complicated is like uh, 
with nested uh, json value okay see this i have uh, selected a big nested json value so i need a uh, string value of uh, this json now i'm going to convert uh, this uh, json into string uh, by online tool itself okay so i'm directly searching like convert json to string online okay now just search it and uh, you'll get the first link itself tools dot knowledge walls dot com slash json to string just click on that and once you click it uh, you will get uh, a tool to convert the json to a string value okay now i'm going to copy this one and paste it completely here and just click convert and again we have a uh, so many next lines i mean all these uh, each line is uh, getting it as in a next line so we don't need like this we need all this in a single line okay so i'm uh put making it in online itself uh, there are some tools like uh, remove next line okay remove next line online so once you take it you will get a uh, a website known as textfixer.com now just open it and copy your complete json from here output json from here go back to this website and you can just paste it here and just simply click on remote line brace okay so once you click it you will get a pure string value of that json okay now just copy it from here come back to our project and just paste in json value okay yes now you okay, can now remove the last and first two double quotes are there just remove it yes we got a fresh json uh json value a, a json response and now we are going to use this uh j string json value to convert it in xml okay now we have to uh, for write the functionality of uh, that json converting uh, the json to xml in this part this area so for that we need actually a, a jar file an external jar file i'll share that jar file uh, in my description you can have it now i'm going to add that into my build path or class path now just right click on the project and you can see the build path option is here just select it and uh, now just click on configure build path so once you click on configure build path you get uh, you will get the library section where you have to add your jars external jars now just click on add jars not not, not that one just click on add external jars java files and this is my location where my java json is there so this is the java file we need and now just click on there and just click open and now you have successfully imported to the class path yes now just click ok and now we have to write the code uh, to convert uh, the this string json value to an xml it's a just two line of code and uh, first we have to create a json object okay now to create a json object we have to get the json object from here org.json so this is from our the java which we have imported so we can give any name json object is equal to new json object and inside that we have to pass uh, our json value so by this what is happening maybe yes we should get a try catch block because uh, there is a chance of uh, a chance of uh, throwing exceptions so just copy it completely put the json xml outside the try catch block and this one inside the try catch block okay now what just happened is uh, we just code this uh, json string value and converted that into a json object okay now uh, the this uh, java file actually uh, get a, a straightforward one line code uh, to convert this json so it's like xml equal to json of uh, xml dot to string json object okay so what just happened is we read that uh, json value value and converted into a json object and using this json object we just got converted we just converted that uh, into an xml uh, string value using the uh, using the the line of code xml dot string okay now if i'm just printing this xml 
we can see here it will be an XML format of uh, this JSON value k now to test it just right click and just select run as and select run as Java application as you can see the output it's running still yes you can see here it has been printed the complete value of uh, that JSON so there is two yeah it's printing here and the uh, now what just happened is uh, it's a uh, the XML is caught here and it is written in the XML to here okay and this printing that value from here okay I'm um, just running it as again yes this is the XML format of that and again this is the pure XML but uh, we should uh, add a response tag on the front and back because to make it as an uh, XML object okay so I'm giving a response tag to the first and uh, to the last again a response tag okay so it will convert it to an xml object now to see this perfectly we can uh, go online itself there are tools like uh, format xml online just search there format xml online and if you are going to format that online there is a web this is a good website free formatted.com and just paste that complete uh, string value of that XML here and uh, just click on format XML so once you click it as you can see here the XML is purely formatted so this is the pure XML format of uh, that uh, this json request okay now as I told we have to add uh, a response I mean uh, this one to the ending and uh, to the start and end of that XML okay so here it is and the XML is equal to XML plus and again XML equal to XML plus again we have to add that XML to the last also okay so here it is yes you are all set now if I am running it again the response tag will be added in the first and last okay now just copy it and uh, again we can directly convert it from here and uh, yes here just paste it and just click on format XML yes so this is the XML formatted of that JSON request okay so I have just shown you passing by a string a hard-coded value okay now next I'm going to show you a, a simple uh, HTTP request uh, to a server and getting a response from that server and formatting it dynamically okay so I have another video uh, 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 to how to send a send uh, a get request or post request to a server I j just uh, watch go to my description I have another video on that and I have explained very perfectly how we can get a, a JSON response from that okay so I'm not going to explain that so I'm going to to get uh, that complete I mean uh, that concept uh, in this uh, year so in that uh, website to get that real-time example I'm going to use a website known as ipinfodb.com so just go to that website and it's a, a simple website uh, this website is an actually a service I mean a, a, a a server which uh, returns the location of uh, your car uh, your IP address okay so I have a, a, an account uh, in this uh, website so this uh, this is a, a free website you can also create an account so let me login in my account so I have just login and I got my API key so once you uh, signed up you will get an API key okay okay so using this api key you can uh, send a get request to get uh, i mean to get your information of your ip address okay so we are going to get ip city okay this one so let me copy this code from here and uh, paste it in my notepad and you have to get your uh, api key so this is our api key just copy it. and i come back here and paste it here and we can pass our IP address directly here okay so I'm just passing my own IP address here get my IP and this is my public IP address copy it from here and paste it here okay so once you got it I mean yeah you can uh, there is the documentation you can pass the format which format you want so I'm going to uh, set the format as JSON so it's like and percent format is equal to a uh, JSON okay so once you 
or uh, once you set all these you can just copy this into your browser and see it will return a JSON value of your current location so this is my current location all the information is correct and we are going to uh, send these uh, programmatically so I have another video as I told the uh, source code is here in my website chilifax.com uh, and uh, send HTTP get post request okay and read the JSON response I'm just going to this and I have that source code in this page itself I'm just going down yes this is the source code now this is a JavaScript so no, I, I need Java send yeah this one Java send get request uh, read JSON response okay so I'm going to copy uh, this complete line of code from here and I come back to I'm going to create a, a symbol uh, Java class here so I'm giving the name as send HTTP request okay send HTTP request and inside this I'm getting uh, co I'm copying all this right yeah I'm copying all this yes let it copy all that and the name I'm giving renaming it as uh, send get request and uh, I'm removing all these okay so uh, what I am going to do directly is copying this uh, HTTP request and uh, paste it in this URL section in my other video I have explained it very perfectly how this works okay so yes and now in this code till here okay to response dot string till here string JSON is value equal to response dot string okay so till here what is happening is it will uh, send an HTTP request uh, to this uh, website or uh, to this server and get the JSON value here okay now uh, get JSON value here and it is just printing that response in string value okay now if I'm just running it as Java application and uh, wait for some time yes so this is our JSON response of that request okay yes this is JSON response of that request now to convert this into an XML what you have to do is we have already uh, set our, our uh, method to convert that uh, JSON okay now let, let me copy this from here and come back to this line of uh, this class and I'm just calling that uh, no I'll, I'll create an string XML value also okay string XML equal I'm calling uh, this uh, class dot convert JSON okay so we'll put this JSON value here okay now what just happened is uh, it will pass that JSON value to this convert JSON method of uh, this class and get that XML response string XML response in this string XML variable okay now if I am just printing this XML you can see here and I am just commenting this one to print the JSON value and uh, these two lines okay now I'll print the JSON again no problem yes now if I am just running as Java application you can see first it's printing uh, the JSON of uh, the JSON response from the server and the next line it is printing the uh, it is printing the uh, XML version and uh, XML format of that uh, that JSON okay so hope you got this if you am just copying it and uh, copying in uh, here in the format XML online and if I'm just formatting it definitely it should come the formatted uh, XML version of that uh, JSON response okay hope you got this I have explained everything in the best possible possible way so I'll share all the source code in my description and all the uh, all the Java files which we needed to test this uh, I mean uh, to in the description you can have it and if you have any doubt in this please comment below I'll try to help you and please like and subscribe for my videos and thanks for watching.